Hey guys, this is Peter, and what well, Waveform sent me a brand new 4x4 Mimo antenna because I asked about the insides. I wanted to take one apart, wondered if they had one, and they said, we'll just send you a new one. So they sent me a whole new kit, and boy, does this feel odd to, well, take it apart. But in the interest of uh, science, let's take it apart, see what's inside, and open this thing up. Now, it is sealed for weather, so I'm going to cut through this. Hopefully, well. And we're going to pop this thing open with the screwdriver. Looks like there's screws all the way around. And see what's inside. Now, what I'm expecting to see is four antenna elements that all look the same. Look at this. They even put little foam to protect the four leads. That's great. All right, let's just carve this up. You know, I'm going to try and redo the ceiling myself and put it up on my roof. I have so many uh, gateways, I could actually use another set of antennas up there. <laughs> wonder what my neighbors think. Alright. Let's see. Maybe I'll give it one more go around when I get the screws out because the blade keeps stopping at the screws. I have to kind of climb over them. Alright. So far so good. Let's grab a screwdriver and get to this. Now popping this open reminded me of when I was 10 years old. Uh, my father and I went to go look for cars, to buy a new car, and every place we went to my father would ask them to pop the hood. And you know, even though I was a young kid, I, I knew my father knew nothing about cars, so I said, what are you looking for? And he said, quality. So just kind of like organization, planning, execution, you'll know quality when you see it. So I guess that's what we're looking for. Uh, I did get all the screws out. I put them in a little tray. That's what it, you keep everything together. It's always a good idea. And I wanted to put the horn on there so I could have some, uh, well, some control and I guess put some torque on it to help pop, pop it open. Yeah, it seemed like that would be the best way to open up something that was completely flat. Either stick something down there or you torque it up. So let's give it a go and see what we get. All right, the moment of truth. Now you see why I put the horn on here. So kind of... Aha, uh -huh, there it goes. Oh, let's flip it over and do the big reveal. See what we see. All right. These are all weather sealed as well. Voila. Ready? Wow. All right, that's exactly what I was expecting. I was expecting to see four elements. I thought it would be more square, actually, in my head, but I see no reason not to tilt it a little bit. And each one is out of phase with the others. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to remove a piece and we can take a look at it. Alright, I feel a wire is cut. Yeah, there's some features. There's some backplane features that are three-dimensional that I'm sure are tuned and they're not just bent like a little stone hinge. I'm sure they actually have a a tuning that goes with them. Each one is screwed in, so I'm not going to touch those. I'm not even going to pull on those. But let's take a look at this element here. All right, so what am I looking at here? There is, a, well, obviously the the sound, if you will, <laughs> because they're, they're actually radio frequencies, but you, know, you could think of them as sound. They're hitting here, and this side is activated. See, there's a little blade here under the under this PCB, which does not appear to be attached to anything. Interesting, but uh, there is a. Let's see, can we see that? Yeah, there's a feature under there. See that? It's a little metal finger that's bent up, and then it kind of goes down into a, it looks like a reed down here, and I bet that. That separation's controlled. There's very good solder joints on that. Both sides. That's going to stay apart, and that gives us the two nodes of the coax. All right, one goes up and attaches to this side, and the other one comes up and attaches to this side with that finger piece right in between these blades. Interesting. 
Okay, so we're looking at this side being activated and this triangle being activated. So this piece and this piece. This, this, and this do not appear to be attached to anything other, well, other than these downstays. I'll have to ask the engineers about that and say, what do those do? So, very carefully designed. And I must admit, I feel a little bit, uh, well, a little bit like I don't quite know what I'm looking at. Kind of like a pig looking at a watch. <laughs> But uh, there are, it is repeated out of phase to each other. Let's see, I'm going to look at this one and see if this one is indeed a replica of this. All right, it does appear to be a complete replica to this one. Now, I'm going to look at the, the pieces underneath. I'm going to give you a glimpse of that too. Let's take a look at the little Stonehenge pieces underneath. Alright. Put this in my little ice cube tray. So, there you can kind of see the little Stonehenge design that's there. And as we look at the next one over, it is indeed, indeed, very similar. I'm going to confirm on my side. Yeah, there are some different... Oh, there are indeed some differences. You see how these two are very close proximity to one another. This one is overlapping this one. If I look over here, those features are different. This one is angled down exactly the same way. But if you can see here, this one is not over this one. This one is bent much further forward. And this one is in the same position too. This one, this one, and this one are similar. This one is much different. I don't know if you can see that. Interesting. So I'm not going to bend any of them because it was obviously tuned by someone that knows much more about this than I do. I'm just going to uh, respectfully put it back together as carefully as possible and uh, put it up on the roof for another, for another one. Hey, just one thing I wanted to share. Whenever you take something apart that's made with, uh, well, with, I guess, screws that go into plastic, it's best to hand start them. Go backwards until you feel it drop. And that way you're getting into the same groove. You can hand tighten it most of the way. I'll finish it up. I go backwards. I feel it drop. And now I know I'm going into the same grooves so that I'm not creating cross threads. I'm not weakening the plastic. That's a good little trick. Hey, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at what's inside one of these things. And um, there we go. One more question answered. Hey, guys. Thanks so much. See you in the next one.